Welcome and welcome back grade 10 students. This is teacher Hazel and I will be your math teacher for today. Are you ready for our next lesson? At the end of this video, you will be able to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Are you ready? Before that, let us have some recall about arithmetic sequence formula. What is arithmetic sequence formula? The formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is our nth term, a sub 1 is our first term, n is our term's location, and d is our common difference. Now today, we will use the arithmetic sequence formula to get the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Let us have some examples. We have example 1. What is a sub 45 of the sequence for 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on. To answer the problem, let us determine the given sequence. And the given sequence is 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on. Now, to answer this problem, we need the arithmetic sequence formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. To answer the problem, we need to determine the first term, which is a sub 1, the term's location, which is n, and the common difference, which is d. Now, let us go back to the problem. Now, in our problem, it is already given that our first term is 4. So therefore, we can denote our first term as a sub 1 is equal to 4. Now, let us determine the common difference. Now, by definition of common difference, common difference is just a number added to the previous term to get the next term. Now, let us go to our sequence. Now, we have 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on. Now, in our sequence, let us determine the common difference. Now, let us start in our first term, we have 4. Let us think of a number that we are going to add with 4 to get 7. What number are we going to add with 4 to get 7? The number that we are going to add with 4 to get 7 is 3 because 4 plus 3 is 7. Now, let us have 7 and 10. What number are we going to add with 7 to get 10? We have 3 also. Because if we're going to add 3 to 7, it gives us 10. Now, let us have 10 and 13. What number are we going to add with 10 to get 13? Isn't it 3 also? Yes, it is 3 also because 10 plus 3 is 13. The same thing as 13 and 16. If we add 3 to 13, it we get 16. Plus, our common difference is 3. 
Now, as mentioned, we want to get the terms location. Now, how are we going to get the terms location? Let us go back to our problem. What is a sub 45 of the sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on? In our problem, it is clearly stated that we are going to find for the 45th term. So, the term's location is 45 or n is equal to 45. Now, we have the first term which is 4, the common difference which is 3, and the term's location which is 45. Now, substitute these values to our formula. We have a sub 45 is equal to 4 plus the quantity 45 minus 1 times 3. We know that 45 minus 1 gives us 44. So, we now have an equation a sub 45 is equal to 4 plus 44 times 3. We know that 44 times 3 is just 132. And 132 plus 4 gives us 136. Thus, our 45th term is 136. Now, let us have example 2. We have find the a sub 18 of the sequence 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. To answer this problem, we need to determine the given sequence. And the given sequence is just 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Now, to answer this problem, we need to use the arithmetic sequence formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Now, to answer this problem, we need to determine the first term, the term's location, and the common difference. Now, Going back to the problem, it is already given that our first term is 3. So, we can denote 3 as a sub 1 is equal to 3. Now, we need to find for the common difference. As mentioned earlier, that we, uh, to determine the common difference, we need to determine what number are we going to add to the previous term to get the next term. Now, in our sequence, what number are we going to add with 3 to get 4? Easy. It's just 1. Now, what number are we going to add with 4 to get 5? Easy. It's just one. Now, the same thing goes with 5 and 6. Add 1 to get 5 uh, to get 6. And then add 1 to get 7. Thus, our common difference is 1. Now, let us determine the term's location. In our problem, the term's location, it asks for rather it asks for a sub 18. Thus, our term's location is 18. We now have the first term, which is 3, common difference, which is 1, and the term's location, which is 8. Substitute these given values to our formula. We have a sub 18 is equal to 3 plus the quantity n 18 minus 1 times 1. We know that 18 minus 1 is just 17. And 17 times 1 is just 17. 
A add 3 to 17, we get 20. Thus, our 18th term of our sequence 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 20. Now, do you have any questions? I would love to read your questions on the comment section below. Did you learn something? What have you learned? I would love to read what you have learned on the comment section below. To assure that you have learned something, let us have some activity entitled Ending Are you ready? Then let's start! And circle the nth term of the following. We have number 1. A sub 1 is equal to 4. D is equal to 2. N is equal to 14. Among these numbers, determine the 14th term. Number 2. 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Among these numbers, determine the 17th term. Number 3, 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. Among these numbers, determine the 20th term. Number 4, we have 23, 18, 13, 8. Among these numbers, we have negative 22, negative 23, and negative 24. Which among these numbers is the 10th term of the given sequence in item number 4? Number 5, we have negative 32, negative 21, 8, 28. Now, among these numbers, which among these numbers is the fifth term of the given sequence? That's it! I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and I will see you on our next lesson.